Hi everyone, Marcia Grace here and welcome once again to New Day, New Word, where I talk about a word, a common everyday word that we use um, and give it a slightly different twist or just something interesting to talk about it because I love words and, uh, uh, and I thought you might enjoy this too. So um, we're working our way through the alphabet and we're up to letter K today. And K is a, it's a bit of a tricky word because when I asked people, I said, what's the first word that comes to mind if I ask you to start a word with the letter K? And people had trouble uh, coming up with something because there aren't that many K words in our language. So um, somebody suggested kindness and I said, well, that's a beautiful word. What, what more do you need to say about kindness than be kind? But uh, so I didn't think we had much discussion with that one. So I went to my trusty dictionary. This is one of three volumes. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's very old. And um, being a wordsmith that I am, I, uh, I refer to it all, all the time. Uh, it's been pasted together with scotch tape because uh, the, it's kind of coming apart. But uh, so I went to K and I found a word that I thought was interesting, which is the word um, keen. K-E-E-N, and I like that word because um, it's one of these fascinating words in English, and I do feel bad for anybody that has to learn English as an adult, you know, as an adult or uh, later on in life as a second language, because we have more, we have more um, uh, exceptions to the rules than we have rules. <laughs> so um, I, uh, I, when I looked up the word keen, K-E-E-N. It has two very, very distinct meanings, and I thought that would be fun to talk about. So the first meaning, which comes, I think, from the Old English, is um, sharp, means keen. When you say, it was a word we don't really use a lot today to describe somebody who's really um, terrific or wonderful or does something great, and you'll say, oh, he's peachy keen. That was an expression that was used many, many years ago. And... Um, uh, but it does, it, we do still hear people use that. So keen, being sharp, being um, on the ball uh, and with it. And then it has this other completely different meaning from um, Celtic, I believe, which is to cry out, to lament uh, after something tragic has happened. You hear the women keening. Uh, after the death of the uh, monarch or what have you. So, uh, wow, isn't that interesting? One word, spelled the same, and yet it has two so completely distinct meanings, which is a good e example of how we can be talking to one another and using the same words we all understand and yet not really understanding each other because we're accepting different uh, definitions f for the very same word. So... Um, I would hope that you will enjoy that experience that we had talking about keening and that you will enjoy your weekend. And I look forward to talking with you again next Friday on the New Day, New Word live stream. And I'll go read my dictionary for a little bit. Take care. Bye-bye.